Welcome to the unit on woven fabrics. This unit introduces you to woven fabrics and the three basic types of fabric weaves. The focus will then move on to the different categories of woven fabrics according to the thickness and heaviness. By the end of this unit, students will be able to define woven fabrics, describe the following basic motions of weaving, shedding, picking and beat up, state the three types of fabric weaves and its derivatives. classify woven fabrics based on their weight state the uses of these fabrics the first module gives an overview of woven fabrics and the basic motions of weaving woven fabrics are made in a machine called a loom by interlacing warp and weft perpendicular to each other these are the main parts of the weaving loom the warp beam is located in the back of the loom is a large roller on which all the warp yarns to be used for the cloth are wound parallel to each other if the fabric is to have warp stripes the various yarns are wound on to the beam in color groupings to obtain the desired colored stripe effect the warp yarns pass through the harnesses which look like a picture holding many thin vertical wires called heads each with a hole in the middle The purpose of the harness is to raise and lower groups of warp yarns. The number of harnesses vary depending on the complexity of the weave. The warp yarns are separated into an upper group and a lower group, thus creating an opening or shed. The shed is made when a harness or groups of harnesses are raised. It allows the filling yarn to travel across the loom over some warp yarns but under other warp yarns. A shuttle or other insertion device carries the filling yarn. As the insertion device moves through the shed, it leaves a trail of weft yarn behind it when it passes over the lower set of warp yarns on the upper set. The reed resembles a comb. The warp yarns, after passing through the harnesses, pass through a reed, which is a frame with thin vertical non-movable wires. Narrow openings are dense exist between the wires which keeps the yarn separated. This is an example of a woven fabric. Woven fabrics can be made with variety of textures with various combinations of interlacement of threads. They are formed by the process of weaving involving three basic steps namely shedding, picking and beat up. Shedding is the process of separation of warp threads according to the order of interlacement of threads the process of shedding creates the space between the threads through which pick or weft is inserted the process of insertion of weft is known as picking the newly inserted weft is beaten up to the already woven cloth thus making a compact fabric the warp yarns are parallel to the fabric edges called the selvages Selvages are more compact than the body fabric which runs along the length of the cloth for about quarter to half inch width. This module focuses on the three basic types of fabric weaves: plain weave, twill weave, and satin weave. It also explains how woven fabrics are classified based on their weight. The order of interlacement of threads in a fabric is called weave. When there are no interlaces and the yarn runs over two or more threads it is termed as float there are three basic weaves which form the basis for almost all types of existing fabrics they are plain weave twill weave and satin weave all other weaves are variation or combination of these weaves we'll now look at each of these weaves the display chart shows the properties of each type of weave Plain weave has poor luster, good snag resistance, a flat and uninteresting surface effect, low tearing strength and poor wrinkle resistance. Twill weave has fair luster, good snag resistance, diagonal lines on the surface, medium tearing strength and fair wrinkle resistance. Satin weave has good luster, poor snag resistance, smooth surface. high tearing strength and good resistance to wrinkles it is the simplest weave is formed by alternate interlacement of every warp and weft yarn plain woven fabrics have maximum possible interlacement in the fabric thus producing strongest fabric it is made in a wide range of thickness 
with different characteristics. Plain woven fabrics are flat and smooth. Both sides of the fabric look similar and it is an ideal weave for end products which require surface manipulations like printing and embroidery. The interlacement of threads in a plain woven fabric is represented using the graph shown in the diagram. Some of the typical plain woven fabrics are muslin, chiffon and georgette. Basket woven fabrics are more flat and flexible than usual plain weave. Owing to its heaviness, it is not preferred for apparels. It is widely used as shoe fabrics, house and stored awnings as well as tents. The twelve woven fabric is formed by interlacing each bar across two or more weft yarns or vice versa forming prominent diagonal lines. These fabrics are irreversible having a technical face and back. The diagonal lines reverse in direction that is if it goes leftwise on the face side of the fabric it would go right side on the back side of the fabric. Some of the typical twill woven fabrics are denim and houndstooth. Twill weave is durable and has an interesting surface texture and luster owing to the diagonal lines. They are flexible and wrinkles recover better. Generally used for workwear due to the sturdy look and less soiling. This is denim, an example of twill woven fabric. This is houndstooth, another example of twill woven fabric. Satin weave is formed by long floats with minimum interlacing among yarns in the fabric. The simplest satin weave has interlaces in the fabric for every warp over four weft yarns. The floats in the fabric have progression of two, either in the left or right. There are also fabrics where interlacing occur over seven or eight yarns. Long floats in a satin fabric make it lustrous and smooth. It has got good wrinkle resistance. Sateen applies to web face satin weave. It is usually made of low twist cotton spun yarns and do not possess luster as satin fabrics. Oven fabrics are found to be the most widely used variety of fabrics in the day-to-day -day life for clothing, home furnishing and industrial products. Fabric weight is generally expressed in terms of grams per square meter or ounces per square yard. Describes how much a fabric weighs for a given unit area. Oven fabrics may be categorized as lightweight, medium weight and heavyweight fabrics according to their thickness and heaviness. Let us now look at the first category, lightweight fabrics. The fabrics which are very thin and light fall under this category. They are fabrics of weight less than 4 ounces per square yard. These fabrics, if made of natural fibers, are much more soft and comfortable and possess good dray. They are used for making tops like shirts, blouses, dresses, linings and home furnishings like bed sheets and sheer curtains. These are the different kinds of lightweight fabrics. Let us now learn about each of these. It is plain woven cotton fabric. The fabric is flat, crisp and smooth. It is ideal for printing. Calico is characterized by small, attractive print designs and contrasting color background. It is used in making dresses, blouses, curtains, bedspreads, wall coverings and cushion covers. Chiffon is one of the most sheer plain woven fabrics. It is very thin fabric and appears transparent to semi-transparent. Originally, chiffons were made in silk and are now widely replaced by hard twist synthetic filament yarns. The fabric is smooth and has shine. The texture and excellent drape of the fabric makes it ideal for apparel. Popular end uses include evening gowns, blouses and scarves. Crepe is a fabric showing no prominent weave effect but has crinkled or pebbled surface. It is plain woven fabric made of very high twist yarns either in one direction or both warp and weft hence giving the pebble effect. It may be manufactured in the range of light to medium weight. The fabric has silk like texture and drapes well. It is used for making dresses, blouses, linings, scarves and in home furnishings too. 
Gauze is sheared and open constructed fabric with more spaces between the threads than regular fabric. It is made of plain weave. Gauze fabric is usually made of cotton or rayon or other blends. It is made using spun yarns and has soft texture. They are not strong, hence not suitable for durable applications. It is used in apparel and home furnishing like curtains and is popular in medical uses for bandages. Indian gauze has a crinkled look with very thickness. Georgette is a type of crepe fabric with puckered surface. It is light sheer fabric. Like chiffons, Georgette were originally made with silk and are now replaced with crepe twist filament yarns. Like chiffon and crepe, Georgette being lightweight drapes well. Georgette has a dull look when compared to chiffon. It is widely used in apparel like blouses and evening gowns. In Georgette fabric, the yarn twist direction reverses for every alternate warp and weft, creating the puckered effect. Organdy is the most sheer and stiff cotton fabric. It is made of fine spun combed yarns. The fabric is characterized by stiffness and crispness. Most stiff varieties are used in home furnishing fabrics like curtains and softer organdy varieties are used in summer wear such as blouses. Organza is also sheer and stiff plain woven fabric as organdy fabric. It is made of silk or man-made filament yarns instead of cotton as in organdy. They may be printed or used in solid shapes. Was originally made as silk fabrics but nowadays are made using man-made filaments like nylon or polyester. It's crisp, smooth and lustrous, hence best suited for apparel categories like evening and bridal gowns. Viscose and acetate organza are used for making decorative curtains. It is cotton fabric made of soft fine yarns. The fabric is made of rib weave and is the most popular shirting fabric. Usually 2 by 1 basket weave also called as half basket weave is employed. Oxford fabrics are also found in other basket weaves like 3 by 2 basket weave. Since basket weave is a loosely constructed weave, the fabric is porous. Fine and closely packed warp and coarser weft makes the fabric lustrous. It is classified as puckered fabric. It is made in a wide range of thickness from light to heavy. It is made using special type of weaving with two sets of warp yarns with varying tension creating a permanent puckered effect. The fabric is usually made of cotton and generally has multicolored stripes or checks. The fabric has alternating vertical stripes of flat and puckered sections. It is sheer plain woven fabric. It is crisp fabric usually made of cotton. Nowadays, they are made in different fiber contents. The fabric gets its texture from the unique variety of threads used for weaving the fabric. It is made of very fine, highly twisted combed yarns. Sheer cotton texture makes it ideal for ladies wear like blouses, dress and for draperies. Let us now move on to the second category, medium weight fabrics. Medium weight fabrics are fabrics of weight from 4 to 6 ounces per square yard. They are the most widely used woven fabrics. They are used to make heavy shirts, blouses, dresses, apparel linings, winter bed sheets, draperies, upholstery, wall coverings and table linen. They are also used as quilted and bonded fabrics. These are different kinds of medium weight fabrics. Let us now look at each of these fabrics. Shino is compact twill woven fabric. It is usually made of cotton. The fabric has slight luster, is durable, and began to be used for military uniforms. It was manufactured in shades of brown, but is now available in other shades. It is generally used for uniforms and trousers. Denim it is twill woven cotton fabric. Twill weave, which makes a popular denim, is 1 by 2 or 1 by 3 warp face twill. Its durability makes it one of the popular fabrics for workwear and pants. It is also considered to be suitable fashion fabric for all ages. 
Denim may also be classified as yarn dyed fabric as a warp is usually colored while the weft yarn is white or gray cotton. The traditional color of denim is indigo and is now available in similar shades. Nowadays, denim fabrics are also available as brushed, printed, faded or washed with interesting design effects. The fabric is also mixed with spandex producing a fashionable stretch to fit slats. Drill is 12 woven cotton fabric with well pronounced diagonal lines. A strong and durable cotton fabric. The fabric is ideal for workwear such as military uniforms. It is popular as cocky fabric when produced in that particular shape. It is used as sail cloth, upholstery, tents and sneakers. Flannel may be classified as brushed fabric with soft fibers protruding on one or both the fabric surface. Originally, flannel was made of wool. Now, it is made of cotton, wool or any other synthetic fiber. It is produced in a wide range of thickness ranging from light to heavy. Heavier woolen fabrics drape well and are ideal for tailoring. They are also more resistant to wrinkle and suitable for suiting and shirting. They are either plain or twill woven. Popular end uses include ladies shirts, jackets, bedspreads and pajamas. Plates and tartan weaving patterns are popular. Gabardine is twill woven worsted or cotton fabric. It is made of warp face regular or steep twill. Warp face twill fabrics are strong and durable as warp yarns have higher twists and pack more than weft yarns. The twill line is fine, prominent and the fabric is available as brushed and raised. The fabric is available in various surface designs such as either multicolor fiber, stripes, checks, plate or solid color. Since the fabric is durable, gabardine is widely used in making pants, shirting and suiting. Muslin is plain woven cotton fabric. It is available in a wide range of thickness ranging from lightweight to heavy bed sheeting. It is stiff fabric made of unfinished cotton. The fabric has black speckled effect because of trash content like broken seeds and twigs left in the fabric. Unfinished muslin is widely used as designer sample garments and interfacing. When muslin fabric is processed and free from starch and oil, the fabric is soft and is used for apparel like dresses and home furnishings like sheets and upholstery. Poplin is plain woven fabric. It is fine horizontal rib fabric. The ribs are heavy and prominent as coarse weft yarns are used. It is made as cotton fabric and polyester cotton blend is also widely used. Poplin fabric is usually available in solid colors. Poplin is popular in apparel like jackets, raincoats and shirts. It is warp face fabric of satin weave. The fabric is made of closely packed filament yarns. The fabric is smooth on the face side and dull at the back side. The fabric is characterized by long floats, low twist yarns and highly lustrous. It is strong, durable and firm and is made in varying thickness. Satin is used in wide range of apparel categories like dresses, linings, lingerie and home furnishings like draperies, drapery linings and upholstery. Is flexible and more durable than taffeta as lining fabric. Shantan is plain woven fabric. It is usually made of raw silk or silk like synthetic fibers. It is made of fancy slab yarns which creates rip effect along the weft direction. It has rough texture with sheen and is used for women's wear such as bridal gowns and dresses. Taffeta fabric may be made of plain weave or rip plain weave. Rib weave is characterized by fine cord effect. Rib plane weave is an extension of plane weave in either warp or weft direction. Generally, rib fabrics have more yarns in one direction than the other. Taffeta is made of filament yarns which give luster to the fabric. Usually, taffeta has almost double the number of warp yarns as weft yarns. The fabric is compact and crisp. 
The fabric on handling has a slippery rustle. Varieties of taffeta include different colors in the warp and weft direction, giving it a shimmering effect. Taffeta is used for making ladies' garments like dresses, blouses, suits, and lining fabrics. Types of taffeta include antique taffeta, moya taffeta, fairy taffeta, paper taffeta, and tissue taffeta. Let's now move on to the last category, heavyweight fabrics. Heavyweight fabrics weigh more than 6 ounces per square yard. As the name suggests, these fabrics are strong, heavy and used for durable applications. They are also called as soothing weight fabrics as they are popular soothing fabrics. These fabrics are widely used as outerwear, workwear, slacks as well as upholstery and industrial fabrics. These are the different kinds of heavyweight fabrics. Let us now look at each of these fabrics. It is a cotton fabric known for its durability. The fabric is made of basket weave, a derivative of plain weave, where two or more yarns follow the path of warp and weft as in plain weave. It may also be explained as extension of plain weave in both warp and weft direction. Canvas is smooth and compact. Serge is worsted twill woven fabric. The fabric has distinct diagonal lines made of 2 by 2 twill weave. The fabric is usually made compact with closely packed fine yarns. Serge is durable and has luster. Regular wear makes the fabric lustrous and is ideal for suiting materials. The fabric is widely used for making coats, jackets, slacks and suits. They are also given water repellent finish and used as raincoats. Tweed is a fuzzy woolen fabric with protruding fibers on the fabric surface. It is usually made of twill weave or its derivatives. The fabric has got a dull look owing to its woolen yarns. It is constructed with multicolored fancy yarns. Tweed being a firm heavy fabric is popularly used in coats and suits. Varieties of tweed include Donegal tweed, Harris tweed and Irish tweed. Donegal tweed this is a plain woven tweed with multicolored slab or seed yarns. Harris tweed, this is tweed fabric from Scotland widely used in sports jackets. Irish tweed, this is tweed fabric from Ireland with distinct colored weft and white warp. As we have seen woven fabrics are categorized as lightweight, medium weight and heavyweight fabrics according to their thickness and heaviness. Woven fabrics is the most widely used variety of fabrics in the day-to-day -day life for clothing, home furnishing and industrial products. To summarize, in this unit you have learnt about basic fabric weaves including plain weave, twill weave and satin weave. We also learnt about typical woven fabrics including different kinds of lightweight fabrics, medium weight fabrics and heavyweight fabrics. Thank you.